boy T.J. Hines, better known as Mr. Flipper House, and today I'm coming to you guys live from my own backyard, uh, getting ready to jump into a topic, of course, that was left in my inbox by one of my loyal email subscribers, and the topic at hand is, or I guess I should just kind of give you guys a bit of background information about me. I've been wholesaling uh, real estate now for the past 29 months uh, from here, Tampa Bay, Florida, all the way up to Atlanta, Georgia. Currently doing anywhere from four to six properties, maybe even six to eight properties a month, just depending on the marketing that I have out there. And uh, also, I just formed a RIA uh, with my co-host, Chris Bruce, down here in the Tampa Bay area. And I tell you what, that RIA has been filling up every other Tuesday, man. And we actually have group members applying the strategies that we are teaching that are actually out there doing deals right now in today's market. So just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of a background about myself. If you don't know, I have an e-book out there as well, which is called Mr. Flipper House Presents Wholesaling as Simple as Your ABCs. You can go and grab that e-book at MrFlipperHouse.com. Uh, please comment, like, share the video. Uh, I love great feedback. Uh, so let's go ahead and just jump right into the topic. Uh, the question was, uh, do I have to pay... Uh, taxes out of the assignment fees and the answer to that question is no absolutely not uh, the seller in the deal once you contract the property with them uh, usually pays all of their back taxes uh, any liens that may be associated with the property so you do not have to worry about that okay now you want to make sure that you have in the contract with the seller uh, under the stipulations or additional causes or additional clauses uh, that seller will pay for any unknown liens and taxes regarding this property and uh, sellers are usually already aware of that uh, uh, you know 80 90 percent of buyers are not going to come in and assume liens and taxes that the seller owes on the property of course when they transfer the warranty deed over to the buyer so that is something that the buyer will not do in most cases I guess it really just all depends on how bad the buyer really wants the deal um, you know in, in most cases you know investors are always coming across deals uh, that are thrown at them daily so uh, you know, if they come across a situation where the seller is not agreeing to pay, you know, the back taxes on the property or liens on the property or uh, even an outstanding water bill or light bill that may be due, uh, then that could possibly kill the deal for the seller. So, no, uh, you as the wholesaler, when you're assigning this property, uh, you would not have to pay any of the liens or taxes associated with that particular deal. Just uh, to reiter reiterate again, uh, you know, in the contract with the seller, uh, in the additional clauses, make sure that you put this, okay? Seller will pay for any unknown liens or taxes regarding this property, and you should be good to go. And uh, your buyer should receive a warranty deed at the closing, uh, pretty much letting him know that everything has transferred over into their, over into their name. I'm sorry. Alright, so that was very simple, short, and brief for you guys today. Make sure that you always stop by my blog, MrFlipperHouse.com, so you can stay up on the latest, greatest content of all strategies that we're using right now in today's market uh, to go ahead and make a profit and make that profit on a consistent basis by doing, uh, you know, two to three, four to five deals a month. Uh, it just all depends on your marketing at the end of the day. So uh, get with your boy. This is TJ Hines, Mr. Flipper House. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel by pushing the button above or clicking on the button above uh, so that way you guys can always be informed when I have something new out there as far as content on wholesaling real estate goes. This is your boy, TJ Hines, better known as Mr. Flipper House. Do me and yourselves a favor. Get out there and flip some houses. Peace.